Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a video talking all about my skin. I didn't get a chance to really explain to you guys the B side to my skin. Um, there's an A side, of course, the external, how to wash the face and all of that stuff. But then there's also taking care of yourself internally and then also what I've been using as supplementation for my dark spots. One, I wanted to come on here bare face, did it, did it, because I feel like every now and then I gotta come on here and let you guys know I am not ashamed of my skin. I'm not ashamed of who I am anymore. I used to be. Of course, when your face is like breaking out really bad and you have all these big pimples and stuff, you feel horrible about yourself. But over time, I've learned to not let that um, stop me from loving myself, get over it, and just do better. Not be upset about the way my skin looks, but fix it. This is what I've been doing to help fix my skin. I'm not a dermatologist. I am not a doctor. I do not know everything I, there is to know about skin. So make sure that you keep in mind that the things that I do for my skin may not work for you because you have different skin. Everybody's skin is different. Skin is relative. It changes with the seasons, with the age, with a lot of different things. A lot of factors go into skin. Um, this is what my skin looks like with no makeup. I have absolutely nothing on my face right now. I washed my face this morning, but I haven't done anything to my skin. I haven't put any makeup on or anything. But you guys know my forehead was pretty bad a couple months ago. Um, around like, around December, January, my forehead was breaking out really bad. During the winter time, my skin just goes crazy. It goes through this phase where it'll just like for most people with seasons changing they have a problem with allergies I have a problem with my skin and whenever the seasons change my skin goes crazy there is a main thing that I've been doing to clear up my skin and that is taking care of myself and I know you're probably thinking like well that's obvious Vicky you have to take care of yourself but pizza and ice cream is not the best way to clear up your skin hot Cheetos is not the best way to clear up your skin now I know why you're supposed to be healthy because you just are. It just looks better on your face. And people are like, oh my God, Vicky, your skin is clearing up. You're glowing. Are you pregnant? And I'm like, no guys, I'm not pregnant. I just started taking care of myself. And now you can tell because it shows. My skin isn't 100% perfect right now, but it looks a heck of a lot better than it did. And it's in a, a lot better condition. Health starts from the inside out. Beauty starts from the inside out. So you have to treat the inside first. Drinking a lot of water. This is the size water bottle that I drink. This isn't even the amount of water that you should be drinking a day. Most people need to drink two of these. I only weigh 100 pounds. So this is un usually enough for me if I'm not doing anything. If I'm working out, I can drink one and a half to two of these a day. This is a whole liter. Water with lemon, warm water with lemon. Oh my goodness, amazing. And I also have an app on my phone that tells me to drink water all day. So I'm making sure that I'm drinking enough water and if not water, some kind of fluid. Because I have oily skin, I have to make sure that I'm moisturizing and I'm taking care of my body by giving it moisture. So staying hydrated is major, major key. I make sure to eat something green every day. I also make sure to eat very vitamin rich fruit so right now I'm really loving blueberries blueberries are actually really good for your skin because they have antioxidants in them and I noticed that the blueberries are actually helping my skin clear up as well like making my skin very vibrant and bright which is interesting I didn't know that blueberries did that but now that I know I eat them all the time I do not do dairy when I tell you guys that cheese when I eat cheese I can smell it in my skin there are certain things I just can't eat which makes me sad because pizza and ice cream are my favorite foods. And enchiladas, tacos, everything with cheese. <laughs> Be sure to figure out what your allergies are if you're allergic or intolerant to anything. Cutting those things out of your diet will definitely help with your skin. So enough about my diet, enough about that. You guys know taking care of your body and learning what you need to eat to take care of your body is important. Upon doing my research years and years ago of how to take care of the skin properly, I've learned that glycolic acid is really good for dark spots and vitamin C and exfoliation, exfoliation, exfoliation. I would not recommend do, trying to do a whole lot of repairing and resurfacing while you have a lot of acne because one thing that can happen is if you're doing too much to your skin when you have acne, it'll only irritate it more. 
be gentle on your face treat those first find a regimen that works for you since my face is not breaking out anymore I can do more resurfacing and repairing first thing I want to talk about is one of my favorite ways to get rid of dark spots that I've noticed that works for me personally and it is my PMD this is the box that it comes in and I've had this box forever and before you guys get like oh you're just gonna talk about this because you got it for free no I bought this PMD with my money I bought it four years ago I want to say your skin is constantly making new layers your cells renew themselves if you have a lot of pigmentation in one spot and skin grows over that pigmentation then you can't get to it so the easiest way to get to it would be to remove the skin that's grown on top of it you can only do that with exfoliation or microdermabrasion um, something like this can do that if you have years and years of skin grown over a dark spot the longer that dark spot has been on your face the longer it's gonna take for you to get rid of it. If you're gonna treat a dark spot, treat it immediately. Don't wait because the longer you wait, the harder it will be to get rid of it. The PMD is basically a microdermabrasion system. It is an at-home treatment that you can do and I've shown you guys how to use this on my channel before but I will show you again. It's going to suck the dead skin cells off of your skin so that it can give you a new surface to work with. And this allows for your products to penetrate better. It allows for your skin to rebuild itself faster. What you do is you turn it on and you pull your skin and then you go upwards and it pulls this dead skin off of your face. And you'll be able to see it. It looks like, like crystallized skin in there. I believe I spent about 150 bucks on this. Let me Google it. Let me make sure that I'm getting this right. Okay, so the PMD runs for $150 at Sephora, Ulta, and other stores that sell um, high-end beauty products. If you guys wanted to get it for a cheaper price, I do have a coupon code in the description box to where you can check it out for 50% off. They're having a 50% off sale for Mother's Day. So you guys can get this for a discounted price if you would like to try it for yourselves. I do believe that it works and I do believe that it has been helping my skin tremendously. So you guys, should check that out. I've talked about these products non-stop. I've talked about them on my Snapchat. I've talked about them in my skincare routine. I have been using this product, which is the Revival Labs 10% Glycolic Acid Cream. I've been using this product since the beginning of time, since I've been on YouTube. This was one of the products that I picked up in 2012, and I've been using it since then. If you don't know anything about glycolic acid, glycolic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid and it is good for exfoliation and cell renewal. So basically it exfoliates the skin and helps the skin to do its cell turnover thing while you're sleeping. So I don't use facial scrubs when my skin is going through. Uh, I have to wait until the storm has passed. You want to use an exfoliant cream or something like that if your skin is really sensitive or if you have a lot of breakouts because you don't want to irritate your skin more. I know Alyssa Forever was mentioning in one of her videos that she uses the one from acne.org, the AHA, which is 10% glycolic acid as well. I've been wanting to try it and since she recommended it, now I'm going to try it. Um, and I think the best thing about this is I can read these ingredients and understand every single ingredient on here and I feel like you should never put a product on your face if you don't understand 90% of the ingredients in the product. If you don't know what's going on in your face, then how do you know what it's doing to you? Because it is a cream, it's not a serum. Serum is to enhance the skin and it enhances whatever products you put on top of it. So I use the Murad Rapid Age Spot Pigment and Lightening Serum. I've talked about this before too and I love it. Um, it does have 2% hydroquinone in it. That is not a lot of hydroquinone. It's enough to get the job done, but it's not a lot to hurt your skin. It is on the expensive side, so if you're not up for spending a lot of money on this, you can try it. You can go to Sephora and ask for a sample. They'll give you a free sample and you can just keep restocking on samples if you want to. Or you can buy the little um, travel size version at Ulta. It works really well. I put it on before I put this on. Now some people ask to lighten my skin. Um, not entirely, no. It lightens the dark spots. It doesn't lighten my skin. If anything, it brightened it, but it didn't lighten. I also have asked, had some people tell me that it lightened 
it did brighten and lighten their face, but now their neck is too dark. This product on the back, it says to massage evenly over clean face, neck, and chest. So you can use this all the way down to get an even shade if that's what you're looking for. So if you have problems all over, treat all over. By all means, do what you gotta do. If you guys want a good moisturizer, grapeseed oil is really good for dark spots and sensitive skin. I used to use grapeseed oil all the time and I'm thinking about going to purchase it again. In the morning, you wanna make sure that you use a, a sunscreen or you use something with sunscreen in it to protect your skin. Because if you have dark spots, it's only gonna make the dark spots tan and worse if you don't wear sunscreen. And I know darker skinned people, we feel like we don't need sunscreen because we have all the melanin, you know, so we don't have to protect our skin as much. That is not true. That is a fib, that is a lie. Whoever told you that is lying. You do need sunscreen. And make sure to use something with SPF 30 or higher, not SPF 15, SPF 30 and up. This little guy is from Murad. This is from the little travel size kit and it's in the Essential C kit. Comes with the um, Essential C face wash and the uh, this serum in the small size. But this one has SPF 30 in it and it also contains vitamin C. So it is very good for your skin and it'll help to keep your skin protected. This is Dream Screen by Benefit. This is SPF 45 and I love this because it doesn't feel or smell like an SPF. It doesn't smell like sunscreen and it doesn't have that greasy sunscreen feeling. It doesn't leave a greasy sunscreen film. Um, it's very smooth. It doesn't feel heavy or anything and it doesn't make me oily. So I can appreciate the dream screen. But one thing that I've always um, made sure that I didn't do was allow my makeup to come in direct contact with my skin. Uh, so I always make sure to wear a primer or some sort of moisturizing something to fill in my pores before I start putting stuff on top of my skin that could potentially get into my pores. Because the thing is, when you put foundation on your skin directly, it has more of a chance of penetrating into your pores and clogging them. I have had my share of years where I used to not wear primer and wear super thick mattifying foundation that would sink into my pores and make babies and I ain't got time for my face to be pregnant okay you don't want to pick at your skin this one right here I picked at this I picked and pulled and attacked it and that's why it's sitting there and it's just hanging because I did a lot of damage and made it harder on myself to get rid of it same thing with my forehead acne. So learn from me, don't pick your skin. When I don't do it, they don't leave as much of a stain. Like I said, I'm not a dermatologist. I don't know everything. This is just what I can recommend to you guys to do. Make sure you're exfoliating. Make sure you're using moisturizer. Make sure you're using your SPF. You should be golden. Eat your fruits and vegetables. Exercise. Do not do a whole bunch of dairy. Do not do a whole bunch of sugar. Make sure you're getting fresh air. Stay hydrated and mind your own business. Your skin will be great. If you have dry skin or you know your skin is different than mine and you have any suggestions, let the people know in the comments and y'all can have a little back and forth. I would love to you know, see what you guys use, what products you use. Forgive me if I was a little nasally in this video, but I am getting over being sick. I think I had like a sinus something because the weather's been crazy and stuff, and I just needed some rest, so. I, that's it. I'll talk.